This is the unboxing for the Craig CD Boombox. And I don't think it has a specific, yeah, it does have a model number. Didn't want to screw that one up. CD6951. So, no one really pays attention to that because it's so easy to hook it up and you're going to be a moron. This is not a great piece of equipment. I want to make that very clear. It's not the best of the best. I just wanted one that could play cassettes. I don't care about the quality. I just care about being able to play old cassettes. And yes, it's hard to get all this stuff off. I probably should have tipped it upside down. It would have been easier. First, before we see that, you'll see that um, <laughs> I should leave all the snowy parts in here since the rug was recently cleaned. Yeah, so keep all the parts in there just to be safe. I'm going to lint. Here we got the plug. What kind of plug do you get? The standard plug for all CD players usually is something like this. So when you're going to buy a boombox, you should remember this. I throw a lot of extra stuff into here before I show you the main attraction because there's other things you should know before anything else. <laughs> there it is, some more interesting information on there. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Um, here's the boom. Actually, we don't need this anymore. Here's the boom box. Now, I was going to demonstrate it, but I don't think the plug reaches from where I am. So we'll just show you what the whole unit looks like. There's where the plug goes. Oh, you can even attach some kind of something inside of here. Like if TVs have one of these um, 3.5, whatever they're called, you can um, plug it into this, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what the quality would be. See, it's not very high quality. CD, auxiliary, um, AM, FM, off tape. Um, here's a CD player. Ooh, nothing in it, just a piece of paper to, I guess, protect the lens, the laser lens or something. Wow, you can see the back of the unit inside the CD player. I don't know if that's such a great thing. I never saw that one before, see? That's in the back of the CD player. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. I don't know what everybody else, but I just think it's kind of hilarious. Okay, um, so then you got the eject button for that, for the cassette, you got that. You got buttons on here, you got a display so you know what track you're on and all that. Um, what more do you want? And then you got a tuning button for the radio. And it even can take batteries. I'm assuming it's D batteries, C or D batteries. Let's see. Obviously it's not going to have any inside of here. Um... It's not worth putting battery and batteries and wasting them for a thing like this, but let's see. I can't I can't see. It's definitely gotta be it looks like it might be a D. It looks too big to be a C. But it doesn't really matter. Um the point in oh six C says it right here. Six C batteries. So I was wrong, it was C batteries. Now do I have any? I don't know if I have any. I think I put them in my last CD player that I've been using. But um that's that. Now there's two things to test, cassette and otherwise. I don't care if the radio works, so for all I care, that can be busted. All right, um, well, this one's gonna be put down, and that's it. No remote or anything for this, but that's what you get. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, wait, did I miss anything? No. All right, well, that's it. Bye-bye.